guys, my name is Tam from Puma Bartitsu and Martial Arts and today I'm going to show you how to properly apply a boxing wrap for your fist. Uh, a lot of guys use them in boxing or in Muay Thai. Um, today I'm going to show you how you would do it for mixed martial arts or for Bartitsu, which is my particular instruction. Uh, you'll see a lot of guys will use these kind of standard ones. This is from Decathlon, you can get them fairly cheaply. And they're of course six foot long. You'll see a lot of guys will do these when they do them, they do kind of reverse wraps and I really don't think there's any kind of need for that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to do this quite simply. And you should always firstly take the thumb and do a wrap over the top of the thumb. Now you see some people will start this way underneath, that's really not the way forward. You need to be doing it so it's over the thumb. Also you need to make sure that the wrap doesn't get wrinkled. You don't want to be doing this so it all wrinkles up. Uh, it'll become uncomfortable and it'll move around, so you need to have it nice and flat when you do that. Also, when you do this, to get, make sure you've got perfect and proper protection, try and make sure that you do a wrap three times around. Always start on the wrist, so we're going to go over once. And make sure you get that nice and flat, you see. And then twice. And again for the third time over. So from there. So now you've got a good three wraps that's nice and firm make sure that's nice and tight not so tight that it's cutting out of blood but good and firm from there from the crook of that wrist there comes up and over so you want to come up to the knuckle point here so you're coming under and up to the knuckles and again when you wrap the knuckles you want to have it nice and firm now you don't want to be kind of clenching up here you don't want it too tight so that when you stretch that because when you make a fist the knuckles will expand slightly, so you want to have the hands slightly open when you do that. So again, once, and hold it with the thumb as you do that, once, and then twice. Again, remember, keep the fingers slightly open, and then three times again. There you go, and again, you make sure it's not wrinkled. So once you've got that, make sure that's nice and firm. So this time when you clench that fist, you've got that space there, but you can still use that, that's absolutely fine. So we're coming back down then, across the hand. Now some guys like to wrap the thumbs. Um, some people say that they end up getting injured or, you know, when they're making the fist, they like to wrap the thumb up. You can do that. If you come under, so we've just come from the knuckles here, and you come under and across the thumb. Again, make sure there's no wrinkles. And across that way. I've never had any problems with it. I've never had, you know, any kind of injuries when I've been boxing or when I've been doing Muay Thai or when I've been doing Bartitsu so I tend to not wrap the thumb so I'm going to leave that as it is so you can come across so what we're doing now is just coming across the hand providing that extra protection now here's something to be aware of when you're doing this you'll see that it'll wrinkle up like that if you do that just make sure that you just unwrinkle it just give it a little bit of a thread out from there so we've gone across from the bottom across the hand now once you've gone across the hand it makes sense to try and stop it from slipping back to come up into the fingers. Now some people use all three fingers. Again, I've never felt a need to do that. Uh, in the 25 years I've been doing this, it's never been an issue. I've never had any problems with it. So I'm just going to do the middle finger. So it comes up from the joint. Whenever you're coming up, up onto the top of the hand or onto the top of the knuckles, always come from the thumb joint. That way it won't slip away. So it comes across into the middle finger there. And then as it does so, you're back across. Now here's a little tip. You'll see it wrinkles. So as it wrinkles up there, take it back to the thumb joint. Just bring that out there. Out to the thumb joint. As it comes to the thumb, just let it flatten out again. So there you wrap it once more. Now you see we're getting towards the end of our tether now. We've only got maybe half a metre left. So once it's wrapped, bring it back to the wrist. And some guys, when they do this, will tend to try and finish it here. And they'll do that. So when they wrap it up, it's all kind of on the wrist. All well and good. I said, well, you'll tend to find that if you're fighting, it'll tend to slip like that until it become loose. And once it's loose, it's just going to be loose in your glove and it's going to offer you no protection at all. So instead of doing that, what I've found is that when you do your final wrap, wrap it further up on the arm. So when you wrap it up on the arm like that, it's already there and it can't slip. So it's wrapped up on the arm. There you go. You've got good protection. You've got at least three parts of wrap. 
you have plenty of protection from the rest of the glove as well. It's not going to slip anywhere. You don't get any wrinkles. It'll be nice and strong for you to use. Okay, guys, there's the end of the instruction. I hopefully I'll see you on our website www.pumabartitsu.co.uk, and we'll see you in class. Until then, keep your guard up.